we are here going to ensure that we are going to be working in collaboration with the court administration to ensure that all what we have agreed is going to be adhered to. We are going to be in constant communication with our office to ensure that our staff are always in service in case of need. And we are also going to scale up communication in the community to tell them that the courts are operational and there is nothing which can hinder justice to be executed. Shuguri ya makama ni lasima ni shuguri ya mbao wanainchi mbali mbali wako na, ma, na maitachi matarakio na indio ikatufanya kama county CUC kufuatiria ambao ni tu, tu, mbao ni mu, mu, chachi muku ambao ametuelesea tupate kama uh, kuangalia kama county CUC tuangalie what can we do and uh, how can how we placed in terms of capacity to, to, to deliver uh, justice within this pandemic period. We have been doing a great work, but again, there is a population which has not been reached. There is a population which has not been accessed. There is a population which can't uh, be accessed using the, the ICT platform. And uh, they also deserve to be part of this particular process. Yesterday I went out from my way calling Dr. The MOH to assist me with officers who will come and test the inmates who've been in quarantine who've cleared between 14 and 21 days. He was graceful enough. I got officers from Magarini. The tests have been done, they are at Kenry. The quarantine center has been filled. That is why we've got into a situation, we have gotten instructions that we only allow in capital offenders. All defilements we are taking, all murders. On robbery violence, we are picking them from all the courts around. But now my, my capacity is full, I cannot, in, my instructions don't allow me to take someone who's been sentenced for 20 days. I have nowhere to keep him. And with all due respect, I have 800 other inmates I'm trying to isolate from the few who've come in. And it will be a nightmare for our department if one of the 800 becomes positive. I've invited the MOH and the public health officer a couple of times. Basically, they visit me on average once after every two weeks to come and make sure I'm living up to the hygienic conditions that are needed.